um, although they are able to be, um, although ebooks are able to be customized for individual preference, um, it's both, they're still not there yet in terms of usability. Um, according to MindShift, an article discussing the change in um, ebooks um, instead of uh, print sources like books. Um, ebooks were not quite there yet in terms of usability, visual presentation, and navigational uh, tools. Ebooks are not fully compatible with all mobile devices, um, which can also put a strain on other people that aren't able to afford um, tablets or um, any other um, ebook readers. They are e readers. They also noted that the navigational feature is meant to enhance learning, like Zoom, highlighting and annotation don't function as well. Um, which kind of is a drawback to why it should have like helped student perform better, um, even though it's just easier getting a book and highlighting, underlining, and running your own annotations on the side. So um, um, this could also be a problem with um, people not adhering to uh, to the policy if it were to take place because um, not a lot of people, um, different stu students uh, have their own preferences of studying and I uh, can't really be forced um, for everyone in a college setting to have um, e-books instead of actual books. Um, in fact, uh, e-books partly solve one of the problems with print books, but not, at all, but not all. So um, students said the biggest reason they choose e-books is because they cost significantly <coughs> less than a used or new textbook, but that's only um, for a certain amount of time. They'd more likely choose e-books if it didn't require access to the internet and available to them for the duration of their college education. So um, basically that's the only reason why they wouldn't, or why they would change the e-books, but currently um, using books just works as well. And it's convenient, more convenient. So, um, as well, it can also cause health concerns, as uh, Elijah, Elijah mentioned, <laughs> and um, especially uh, according to WebMD, they, if you have like, a, if you stare at a computer monitor for hours, uh, it could strain your eyes, and that could also like other, um, that could strain your eyes. Your, you kind of just like, a, you can get eye irritation, headaches, neck pain, or back pain. And, um, that could affect, um, they can have real effect on your work performance, so that could just be another reason why uh, staring at the screen, especially for a book, a textbook, which you have to like, dedicate lots and lots of hours on, especially for studying. Um, so, um, so is it even probable? Are we essentially trying to get rid of all the books in colleges? And then what would happen to the other libraries, um, to the libraries that we have in the university, um, in universities or colleges? Um, it would also just be too much for um, the university to uh, just take out, um, you know, reorganize like the new, um, giving everyone like a tablet or an e-reader so that each student have their own uh, avail, um, their own way to uh, get the e-books needed. among college students has remained consistently low. Studies currently show that about 3% of college students are purchasing e-books. If today's students are truly digital natives, and if e-books offer so much value to students, why haven't we seen more uptake? Um, which is, which just adds on, if it is a big um, part of uh, the younger generation, especially and if it's easier, um, and more, um, Easier to customize for your own per, um, personal preferences. Why aren't we? Why aren't more people going at it um, than we are today? 